Morning, Max. Are you, are you carrying on as normal, Max? Yeah, yeah, it's business as normal. You know, I've said exactly my thoughts and my feelings. Um, so, you know, obviously that's, um, you know, that's where it is. How's the last 24 hours been? Not very good. Not very nice, as you would imagine. Um, very distressing. Um, and for my family, for my wife Jo, for my daughter Louise, for you know, everyone that knows me and cares. Um, it's a horrible experience, but you, know, you have to face up to these things. Uh, and how will you spend the next few weeks? I mean, we know that you have to you know, answer well, that. I'll spend January. the next few weeks. I mean, I think I'm speaking at a charity thing on Monday. I'm speaking at a charity thing on Tuesday. Um, you know, and I'll be working as, as I always do. So, trying to make things as normal as I possibly can in the circumstances. Can you give us any detail about the allegations? Can you say any more about no, the nature I, I of them? No, I can't. Um, all I can say is that they're totally without any foundation and they're totally untrue. And I think one was um, in 77 and the other one was a couple of years or a few years afterwards, I think. Different, but totally without any foundation at all. Yeah, Max, you look very upset on the steps of the. Sorry? You look very upset and quite shocked on the steps of the police station last night. Well, no, I mean, I, I'd spent, I've been there about 12 hours sitting in cells and, you know, being asked questions for hours and hours and hours. I wasn't exactly a bundle of joy, no, but, you know, I still came out and faced the cameras and spoke to everybody because I've got absolutely nothing to hide. You know, I understand you've got a job to do because I've been involved with it for the last 45 oh. years. You know, it's a horrible thing to happen to anybody, but, you know, I'm old enough and ugly enough to know, right, face it and sort it out, it's which is what I've got to do. He's talked about your names all over the front pages of the papers. Um, um, how, how does it feel? Well, it's not the first time, you know, and, and obviously I've been involved with probably as many front pages as anybody in the business. So, you know, you accept it. You know, that's how it is. Um, this is accusations made. The police have got to look into it. That's what they have to do. And you know, and obviously, um, you know, I, I've got to answer their questions and hopefully show clearly and conclusively that to them and everybody else that there's absolutely no truth in any of this. Do you and feel that's what I'm looking to do? Do you, do you feel this is part of a witch hunt? I mean, you spoke before about. I don't this know. Time. I mean, obviously, lots of people are saying about a witch hunt, you know, but I don't know that. All I know is, you know, what's happened to me. Um, and there's no justification, but it's something that I've got to face up to, and it's something I've got to sort out. Um, you know, and, and all I'll be doing is what I've done for the last 45 years, which is, you know, being very busy doing all the things I'm doing and looking after all the companies and organisations and individuals that I represent for PR, because that's what I do. So I'm going to try and make things as normal as possible. Um, and just get on with things, you know, that's that's where I am and you just have to face up to it. Um, and all I would ask is if you wouldn't mind just leaving these people in peace because my neighbours don't deserve this. So I've spoken to you and you've done your pictures, so have a good day. All the best. One, one more question for you. Right. Um, you. You're obviously protesting your innocence, and uh, but it must be very frustrating to have your name kind of dragged up in this it's, way. It's extremely distressing. Yeah, for myself, but also for my wife Joan, for my daughter Louise, you know, for friends, family, people, you know, loved ones. It's horrible for them as well. So it's up to me to do everything I can to sort this out as quickly as possible. And hopefully the truth will come out and then I can get back to, to life, you know, the way I've enjoyed and, and um, for the last, you know. So what happens over the next years. few days then? Um, I think obviously I've got meetings with lawyers. And, um, and then I'm just going to be doing all the things I'm doing.